What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fear Extraction Point. In the last episode, we entered this creepy subway, and um, if I'm not mistaken, this will supposedly lead us to a Jin Sun Kwan, which is that lady that is currently making her way towards the hospital that we are going to a rendezvous at. And I stopped in front of this little anarchy symbol, or, or I think it might stand for Alma, because I am pretty sure she put that there. Because, I mean, who else would it be who put that there, if you really think about it? And anyway, I forgot to flip this lever, which opens that up, and now I can go back. That's so all I really needed to do. Bonk. Um, is there a shortcut back, or do I really have to walk the whole way back? I guess I have to walk the whole way back, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know. What are you gonna do? Just gotta keep on trucking on. Um, have I been in here? I think I have. Oh, I guess not, because there was a bit of armor here that I missed out on. Or, uh, maybe I was in here and I just didn't see it. It has happened before. Whoa. I got stuck for a second. That was weird. Oh, I, all I did was loop back around. That's literally all I did. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, maybe I have to go through the bloody door. Or whatever. Why am I going back? Or, wait. Ooh, I'm glad I went back because I missed this. And I also missed my frames. Those were nice to have for, for a while, you know? Really, really miss my frame rate, honestly. Yeah, unfortunately, Extraction Point appears to have similar issues to the original game, which is very unfortunate. But, uh, honestly, I don't really feel like there's much that I can do. Anyway, I think I might be able to open this door now, which I can. Oh. Well, that's fun. Ah, ninjas again. Oh, they're actually attacking me now. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a creepy noise. This doesn't help that my frames are dropping. Uh, Alright, if you could fuck off for a turn. Jesus, what is this? What What is this, man? What are, what are these frame rate drops doing here? Come on. I'm more than capable of running this game. We have been over this many a time. This should not be happening at all. It is very simple to understand. Fortunately, this game just isn't very well optimized for modern computers, so, you know, especially if you're using any kind of software to record it, the, uh, the frames just kind of dip. Oh, hello. Didn't realize you were there. I guess, is this where I have to go? No, I was just in here. Oh, well, I was in a similar room, anyway. As creepy as this room is, I would like to get out of here as fast as possible, because Alma is, uh, is creeping me out. I will admit that was a little creepy. This has already been way creepier than, um, than the original game ever was, so at least I know they upped the fear factor just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, am I missing something? Is there like a vent in this room that I need to access? Well, I assume the room where Alma was was the room where I need to go, but, um... It's not really looking like it, unfortunately. I, ugh, it'd be a hell of a lot better if I could actually, like, look around without my frames just dipping. Um... Nice noises. Uh, one would say I would have to go into here, but I can't move that out of the way, can I? Uh, do I have to use a grenade? I guess I might have to. Try it out. It didn't even budge. So, uh, short answer, no. Long answer, no. It, the exit's got to be around here somewhere. Ah! Another ninja. Well, these things aren't even really ninjas. They're just monsters. Ninja monsters. There you go. That's a good name for them. Ninja monsters. Uh, they do jump out of nowhere at you. I guess I missed that one, or am I going the right way? I just want to leave, man. Come on. Or are they going to keep spawning until uh, until I find my way out of here? I hear some rustling around. I don't really like 
for that. I don't like that at all. Well, maybe now that I killed it, I'll ah. yeah, I see you. Well, almost got some new tricks up her sleeve. Okay, I couldn't leave because, uh, good old monster man there was, in, was still alive, so you know, I had to deal with him. But it do not matter now. Oh boy, a long hallway. This surely isn't going to lead to a jump scare. Oh, look at that. Always gotta check behind you whenever that happens. Never know with creepy little girls. Oh, what a what a purposeful room. Alright, finally made it back at least. Hmm, did somebody shoot a laser here? Because it kind of looks like it. Okay, we finally made it out. I see all the replicas are still here and very much dead as they should be. I'm sorry, that noise was just very aggressive sounding. Hey, I finally made it out. Or wait, no, the other way. Yeah, I have to get on the on the train. That is what I have to do. I mean, let's step in then. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this game isn't limited to 60 frames like the uh, the original one was. So like, honestly. The, the frame drops are so brief, like, I'm pretty sure my FPS counter isn't even really counting for it. But I, I guess I don't get to operate the train. I guess I just get to go down the hallway. It's fine, I suppose. I was kind of hoping I would get to ride a train, but, you know, well, it looks like I might still get to ride a train, because that is collapsed. I don't see any other way to access that. So I... Do I get to ride a train? Maybe I do. Was there like a lever or something I didn't see? A button even? Literally anything. Oh, okay, I have to walk through here. <laughs> Big stinking idiot, that's me. The replicas are using the city subway to transport equipment and supplies. To what end, you do not know. Follow the subway tracks uh, to the near exit to the exit near Auburn Memorial Hospital. Secondary objective is to collect information on replica activities in the subway system. You know, you think we would have the United States military swarm in this Shit. Okay. Yeah, they're shooting at me. They don't like me here. What the hell? What? What killed me? Oh, it's Alma again. Okay, Alma, listen. Yeah, Alma's weird because at like one moment she's helping me and then the next she's just like trying to kill me with ghosts. Like, is this the same Alma here? You got a bad case of split personality disorder. Maybe you're just bipolar. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it'd be great if you could um continuously help me instead of trying to kill me with ghosts. And I appreciate the help, but jeez. You're the one who puts me in danger more than the uh, the goddamn replicas do. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that all of you? Probably not. Cause when is it ever? No, of course it wasn't. Okay. Hit up the old medical kit. Yeah, yeah. Frame rate. Yeah, consistency. Yeah. Um, more assault rifle, of course. Well, that just didn't have anything in it. Ah, medicinal supplies. I love medicinal supplies, and I'm actually filled with medicinal supplies. I cannot carry any more. That makes me very sad. I wonder if this game running at a hundred, at like two hundred frames per second. I wonder if that's uh, actually causing some of these issues. I might research a way to limit it to sixty, if possible, because like maybe it, you know, just running at this many frames is actually what's causing things to go awry. Oh, okay. Definitely want to go here then. Wish I was on that train. It's probably going to someplace better than this. 
A dead worker. Any of these doors open? They do. Yes, I'm aware. I've played the other game before. I hope you're aware of that. Hope you're aware of that, Peter. That I did indeed play the game before this. Is this just a secret room, or is this where I'm supposed to go? Um, this weapon is pretty good against, uh, your average Joes. I, I almost want to keep my rocket launcher in order to, uh, in order to take on any mechs that I might encounter. The assault rifle is kind of a necessity, so definitely want to always have that. And I always want my shotgun. So I'm thinking, do I really swap this? Yeah, sure, why not? If I, if I find any mechs, I'll beat myself up over it later. Okay. Okay, thank you for the, uh, the frame rate drops. They've been particularly bad in this area. I'm almost dead. Ow. Wow, you still killed me despite the fact that I shot you three freaking times with that thing. Oh man, what was my last save? Ah, back here. Alright, fine. Whatever, at least I know where I need to go now. It is fine. I am aware of where I need to be. All I have to do is just jump down here. Simple. Don't even bother with the train. It do not matter. What's stopping me from just... Oh, okay, so that's locked. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Crawling through the vents again. Oh boy, my favorite part of fear. Crawling through the vents. Alright, pick up stuff. And also things. And now that these are open, I will quick shave. And oh, good. Oh, 8 frames per second. My favorite. Yeah, for some reason the frame drops have been very, very bad here. Oh, look at that. Game? Really? His head came off. That's cool. This has already gone leagues better than last time. Uh -oh. I gotta go up. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Yeah, I think my increased frame rates, um, my frames not being limited to 60, I think that might be what's causing some of these issues here, because I'm decently sure that was not supposed to happen. But it was cool, though. I'll give it that. Uh, yeah, you do. Sure do. See ya, wouldn't want to be it. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to research into limiting my frame rate by the next episode. Because, uh, this is, this is very bad. I don't like this at all. Okay, we have little turret boys. Damn, you fellas have a lot of health, don't you? Alright, I thought I had, uh, yeah, I had these. Come on, door, please. Eh, eh. Did that kill you? No, it didn't, did it? It did not. Fuck off. Ugh. This is annoying. Okay, please never show up ever again. Thank you. You guys were a lot better when you were on my side. Okay, well, there's got to be somewhere I can go. Maybe one of these doors. Probably this one. Yep. Oh boy, another one of these. He's here. Fettle. Oh, hello. They'll tell me she's gonna die too. Stay away, Stay away from, from me. me. Very nice voice acting on your part. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything to you. 
Ms. Guan. But I can't speak for my mother. Yeah, why is, like, she... She's protecting me, but also trying to kill me? <gasps> Jankowski. Jankowski, I thought he I was tasted dead. the good lieutenant's visions. And they were most revealing. Spen. Your eyes. Okay, I assume that was supposed to scare me. Um, did you take... Okay, nope. It's just uh, a bit of a bug. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure you've noticed these, like, pretty, like, obvious stutters in the, uh... It might not appear in the footage, but it, it's definitely very, very obvious in the... Ah, shit. These uh, these frame drops are just extremely consistent. I guess they're less frame drops and more stutters. But I guess those are really one and the same, aren't they? Cause like my game's still running at like 90 frames, but it keeps jumping from like 200 to 90, and like that makes a noticeable stutter. That is very annoying. So I'm definitely going to research into limiting my game to 60. Because that, that feels like almost a requirement at this rate. I know it's kind of all I'm talking about, but it's very noticeable. And very annoying. Sorry if you guys are noticing it as well. I always want to supply you with... Get back! Oh, shit! Okay, that was a very, like, audible yell. Okay, um, I don't know if it's very noticeable for you guys, but you know, I'm kind of a stickler for giving you the highest quality footage possible. So, you know, it, it very much annoys me when, uh, if that's appearing on video. How many times do you have to shoot a person with a shotgun before they die? Clearly, far too many. Oh. Okay. Alright, I gotta admit, you guys have some decent armor. Because it actually does protect you from headshots. That's almost a new one. Normally when somebody sh gets shot in the head in a video game, no matter what armor they're wearing, their head goes by them. Oh, hey, that's cool. Ow. Ow. If my frames keep dropping like that, how am I supposed to play the game? Very annoying. I'm just gonna go through here. Not even gonna bother. Cool uh, clipping you did there. Okay, I think this is a good place to quick save. I do think that, yes I do. Oh, he died. <laughs> I really need to be using slow mode. Alright. Hope that doesn't mean you guys. Oh, yeah, this is where they, they come in. Of course. And I rear around the corner with a shotgun. Eh, where are you? I can't see. <sighs> Those smoke clouds can actually get you killed because you can't see a damn thing. 
That's a good feature, though. I like that. I like that a lot. Is that everybody? Finally? I think it was. They're really sending in the replica after me. Uh oh. My mistake wasn't everybody. Pretty much have to use my flashlight around here. Otherwise, it's pretty dark. Any secrets back there? Anything at all? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, thank you for the checkpoint. I always appreciate those. Because as far as I know, in the actual settings for this game, there is no way to limit your frame rate, and that makes me very sad. Honestly, who didn't expect that? Like, honestly. Like, give me a break, Alma. Oh, uh, spooky. She killed a heavy. Impressive. Although I do those every day. Not every day, but you know. I've killed heavies before. I ain't impressed yet, Alma. Not that impressed, anyway. Oh, what the hell are you? Are you even a person? Please tell me that killed you. I think it did. Can't see. Not yet. He he fell down here. Well, we have what appears to be a minigun, and Lord knows I'm going to pick me up one of them. All right, so I am now indestructible, and nobody can do anything to harm me ever again. This is good. Yes, good. So the replica are fighting Alma. So I guess it's just technically Fettel versus Alma, isn't it? And they all got exploded here. Which is very unfortunate for them, but fortunate for me because I don't have to deal with them. Hmm, okay. Guess I gotta jump over. That was weird. Oh, wait, I just realized I looped back around. I'm a big old idiot. That's not what I needed to do at all. Well, luckily it wasn't so bad. It's just a mild inconvenience. Spooky. Okay, now where do I go? Exits. Either that way or that way, so I'm guessing that way. This is where I killed Mr. John Heavyman. So I guess I must have missed something. Alright, where am I going? I mean, this is where all the blood is, so I assume. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? That tends to be how it is in this game, you know. Go, you know, follow the blood. That'll take you to where you need to be. But it doesn't appear to look like it. That is where I need to go. That is making me very confused. It does indeed. Oh, wait, is this like a button I need to press? No. Just some random terminal. Oh, okay. Alright, replica, I have a minigun now. And you better give me a chance to use it. Oh, okay, it's just a dead guy.
So they're talking about me. I'm flattered. They up there? Well, that was nice. That guy just, that guy got killed so hard he ragdolled out of existence. Not the first time that's happened, actually. Oh yeah, this thing just tears through people. I love it. It's a shame it's gonna run out of bullets, but you know. I get to use it while it lasts, so. Ooh, okay. Ah! Where'd you come from? Wow, that was a nice stone drop. Ah, split in half. You know what else got split in half? My frames. Well, this thing is just so much fun to use, ain't it? Uh, such a, such a, what a leader, you know, hiding away in his little bunker while his men get slaughtered. Uh, I've met quite a few commanders like you. Went ahead and ditched the minigun because it only had like one bullet left in it. Oh boy, more spooks. Jaskowski? Why am I still getting visions of you? I don't remember you being that important. Uh, I couldn't move for a second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the physics are getting all kinds of messed up due to the frames. Definitely need to work on that. I can't see. This is bad. Like, I didn't think they were actually gonna do anything to me there. She's all my fucking with me again. Because when isn't she, honestly? Alright. Cool looking room. Well, since we're in a cool looking room, I think that's a good time to end this video off here. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, in the next episode of Extraction Point, I will hopefully have figured out a way to limit my frames to 60, so we will no longer have any more issues. So, uh, peace out.